but what is the best way? Is a business incubator the way to create jobs or is it something else? You know, and as far as the research side with the sediment, definitely, you know, I, I can picture somebody coming in because we've, we, we have always tried to push to use the Chapalaya River material sending it to Terrebonne or whatever, it is more expensive, but how can we research these things? You know, how can we harvest that material or, or, you know, in a more economical manner where we can get it to where it needs to be, but still keep Morgan City a safe harbor. So um, if any of that made any sense, then uh, (laughs) those are my comments. (laughs) Yeah, this is Ryan. Um, A a few things you said, by the way, Horseshoe Bend was such an awesome beneficial use project. Um, you, you should be proud of that. And it's, it's, it's really performing fantastically. And those are the kinds of things, I mean, th- that, you know, the Chafalaya system is so unique and I, you guys know this, I'm a geologist, so I can, I could talk all day about mud, but, um, <laughs> that, and, and my, my graduate thesis work was actually in the Chafalaya river Delta and four league Bay. Um, so I've been all over that place in, in boats and, you know, digging up mud, um, <laughs> all over down there in your coastal area. But, um, the Chafalaya is unique because it's building land, because it has a lot of sediment. And, you know, the one thing about the Water Institute and, you know, thinking through this, we have a whole geosciences team that's really good at things like river morphology and, and the dynamics of, 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 of sediment and sediment moving around and doing beneficial use projects and things like this. Um, not that we, you know, we can get them involved however y'all want. I think having some, an expert or two in, in that realm of, of river sediment dynamics would be good as part of um, the strategic process. Also, we have people that specialize in carbon sequestration, And, you know, that's going to be another important component of this, I think, in terms of, you know, the Atchafalaya is a, can be seen as a, as a global model of, of, of how to use a natural system to, to take carbon out of the atmosphere. And, um, you know, I know that the governor's got a big push right now for, um, it might not be the governor, it might be uh, at the um, U.S. Congress level to, to try to um, make Louisiana a, a, a sort of technical hotspot for the injection of, of carbon dioxide into the into the subsurface. But also, you know, we've got recent work at the Institute that says that Louisiana marshes are better than almost anywhere else in the world at taking carbon out of the atmosphere and, 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 and doing that part. So, you know, we can definitely focus on, on those things, you know, the abundance of sediment and the, 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 the really good carbon capture um, as components of the strategic plan. And, you know, using the Chafalaya and the Morgan City area as a test bed, but also as the, um, as one end member of an experiment, if you can think about it as like many areas in Louisiana are starved for sediment, um, well, the Atchafalaya is building land, you know, and it's, it's, so it's, it's this really, um, unique place that probably ought to have a lab there. It probably ought to have, um, active science going on to, to not only inform what's going on in Louisiana and the master plan, but really, nationally and, and, and global. Thank you. Thank you for saying that, Ryan, from a scientist. You're making me smile. 